Hey what's up guys, Syed here. Today I am in the 2017 Subaru Levoq with the owner beside me and he doesn't want to be on camera. So this is the Subaru Levoq 1.6 litre turbo, 168 horsepower, 250 Nm of torque, all wheel drive of course because it's a Subaru. This car does 0 to 100 in just under 9 seconds and it comes with a CVT transmission as well. So there's also a 2 litre Subaru Levoq but I think uh, in Singapore Moto Image Subaru only brings in the 1.6 if I'm correct. Oh by the way this car is no longer available on the market because the 2020 Subaru Levoq has been unveiled already so uh, I'm not too sure when that is coming in Singapore. Alright so let's get on to the review. So uh, Sam, you know tell us why you got this car. Why the Subaru Levoq? Okay, so basically I love the space especially the back. Yep. And because uh, I have family, yeah? mm. so I like to drive around uh, with them. So you have kids, lah? I have no, no, no kids yet. Okay. Yeah. Your so, parents, lah? Yeah. So I drive around with my parents, in laws, mm. and uh, friends, lah. Uh, I see. Yeah. So why like Subaru and why this particular model? Uh, why this model? Yeah, you know, cause like if family car, Japanese are so many, right? Okay. Yeah. I I want something that is uh, powerful. Okay. And, uh, I practic practically like the the space lah. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, no idea why Subaru. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I think Japanese reliability is uh, is there lah. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. But before you bought Subaru, you know that Subaru maintenance is a bit higher, right? Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay. And, and <laughs> so, how long have you owned this car? Uh, so about two months or so. Two months ah, quite new. Okay, your mileage also very low lah. Twenty plus kilometers, twenty plus thousand kilometers. Yes. So how is your ownership experience? Uh, so far so good. So okay, so no far, no so issues good, no, no issues. La. Okay, does it live up to your expectation? Uh, yes yes, yes, yes of course. Okay. Compared to my previous car. What's your previous car? Uh, I was driving a Civic One Point Eight. Civic One Point Eight. Yeah. The FD the generation. FD generation. Okay, okay okay okay. So I mean obviously this is a brand not not brand new but newer car so it's the interior everything yeah really a hit lah <laughs> I would say yeah leather in a lot of places stuff like that so you know what do you like about your Subaru Lobo? okay first thing I would say the fuel, fuel tank lah okay because okay. it's 60 litre mm. and uh, compared to my previous car again uh, you know uh, you can go further lah and the uh, fuel consumption is actually not bad Okay, how much are you around? Uh, 12 to 13. Oh, that's not bad. Yeah. Oh, but then your engine 1.6, right? 1. Okay, 6, yeah. 1.6 turbo. Yeah. Okay. What, what else do you um, have on your car? The looks, the, looks uh, the looks, of course. Yeah, <laughs> this looks like a family version of the WRX. Yeah. Right. yeah. Okay, then what do you dislike about your car? Dislike? Nothing so far, I know. Serious? Uh? Yeah, nothing so far. Hmm. Okay, okay, okay. So one of the first things I noticed about the car is that the interior is uh, very similar to the Forester SJ generation facelifted one. But I think this one is a bit nicer because uh, you get leather, you get more leather all around. Yeah, you get uh, the graphics is also a bit nicer. Um, the instrument cluster about the same, infotainment about the same, steering wheel also about the same. But this one feels nicer because this is, you know, Flat full. Bottom. Yeah, flat bottom steering wheel and full leather wrapped. This leather actually feels way better than Subaru's just like a few years prior to this, like 2015, uh, 2014 kind of Subaru's. This feels way better. So right now I'm just driving around in uh, normal mode. I'm gonna switch it to sports. is really linear mm. is there's no um, in other Subarus like you floor it then once the turbo starts to spool then it picks up this one is like very linear quite gradual feels a bit like a continental car yeah <laughs> if I'm describing it correctly yeah quite um, quite refined I would say yeah that's how I would describe it quite refined CVT is smooth yeah very smooth also and their hood scoop in front always reminds you that you are driving a you know this is not a typical family car this is a yeah <laughs> in a way la, a performance la, if you want to put it yeah yeah it's just so smooth the power delivery 
But this car is stock, is it? No, no it's stock. So stock. basically, what I, uh, the previous owner they changed the turbo inlet. Okay. Yeah. So that's about it, and uh, the air filter uh, using performance. The oh, okay, and then air filter. Yeah. Oh, okay. Maybe that's why the sound is a bit. But quite a. It remind a bit like a supercharger kind of wine. Oh, yeah, but how much do you uh, buy this for? 90 90 k with uh, 7 years left 7 years left mm. It's pretty about 10 is it? 10, 10 plus uh, 10 plus, uh, 10 plus. Okay. You can fold down the rear seat as well? Yes, yes. Can, uh. okay. So basically oh, you can go IKEA I, Previously I went to IKEA and I bought those long table Long, long meal uh, uh. You can just slot in mm. yeah, Quite good uh, quite good I know you don't like the... Oh yeah! <laughs> <laughs> auto start stop Yeah, yeah, yeah But the car does very quiet uh, the auto start stop Not so intrusive So just my thoughts overall First of all, I really like the drive uh, Performance is adequate You know, I don't think it's... Do you feel it's underpowered? No, 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 no it's, it's just nice It's just nice, uh, yeah. yeah I think so, it's just... I think it's... 1.6 ton uh, uh, wait, uh, I, okay. think, I think it's adequate. Yeah, adequate. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's adequate also. Yeah, one point, and some 1.6 euro tax, not very expensive. Yeah, yeah performance one year is, is around 700 plus. Right? Mm. Performance is there for 1.6 engine. And the looks also, I think, for such a practical family car, it looks quite good. I mean, of course, it looks similar to the WRX, uh, so it looks good. Interior also for Subaru, I think this is very nice for Subaru. Uh, comes with sunroof even you know practicality is yeah really good overall quite a nice package lah for this kind of uh, depreciation uh, something I wanna ask do you are you concerned about the resale uh, value or you know how hard it will be to sell this car let's say you wanna sell it a few years from now um, I have no thoughts about that yet no thoughts so about that so basically yeah. uh, just my views is, is is to use it until I until COE. Yeah. Yeah. Oh okay 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 uh, seven years uh, all the way. Nothing else you wanna share then I think yeah that's about it for this review. Thanks guys so much for watching, hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you guys in the next video.